by Corey. Well met, my dears. Well met indeed. What brings you here? Your counsel I need. Yaga the Bony, Yaga the Great. You want to manipulate the Tsar's fate. Upon his throne, I will bestow a fate of sorrow, bad luck, and woe. The rightful Tsar had failed my test. He was unkind, just like the rest. He said to me, leave, ugly hag, when all I did was ask for bread. And as his guards drove me away, I laid my curse, and he heard me say, Oh, I shall leave, but hear this from me. How you'll treat others, treated you'll be. The one who is cursed with dreadful luck will be around when your throne turns to muck. But if you kill him by your own command, all of your Tsardom will turn into sand. <laughs> so ever since then, he searched every day to find the unlucky one and send him away. And now he's found him. A man with no charm. Ivan the blacksmith who's missing an arm. Yaga, our friend, we lend you our skill. Ivan, we shall use to fulfill your will. Blacksmith? You work in the village, and people say you are followed by bad luck. Broken swords, bent nails, splintered helmets, crumbled wheels. Everything you create shatters to dust, and you bring misfortune upon us all. One day, I was at home with my papa, and she said to me, Oh, Ivan, my needles broke again. Would you make your poor old grandma some new ones? Sure, Bubba. I'll make you a couple so strong you'll be able to weave chains with them. I just need to find some enchanted iron. Be careful, Ivan. Do not worry. If there's misfortune in the world, I haven't met it yet. Oh, and if you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Later that day, I was going through a beautiful forest. Little did I know what would follow. My way was blocked. I had to smash through using my hammer. I had to go through some thorny spikes. I quickly rolled through to avoid hurting myself. Wild animals were upon me. I got ready for the fight. Tired from the fight, I approached a clearing. Bad fate was waiting for me there. Dear traveler, with that sweet face, what brings you here to Nico's place? I left my grandma at the door to go and find some magic ore. You seek magic? Are you stuck? How do you feel about your luck? Bad luck? I think that's just entails. Hard work and patience never fails. Uh, a non-believer, then. I see. Looks like the fate is kind with me. Come now with me before you're thinner. You're just in time to be my dinner. 
I have to eat now. It is late. And I will have you on my plate. And now you know bad luck is real. It is my name. <laughs> and you're my meal. <laughs> I had grown tired from the fight. I swung my hammer with my might. And when I nearly hit her head, she laughed at me and it broke instead. So I just ran. I ran away. I had no time to stop and pray. And in my path fixed in a tree, a golden axe was there for me. But as I grabbed and said, what luck, I realized my hand was stuck. And then she raised her deadly knife and tried to rob me of my life. But as she swung with evil charm, I moved aside and she chopped my arm. She grabbed it and she said, how sweet. And so I got up on my feet. I started running, dripping blood. Well, not a drip, it was a flood. But right behind I heard a crash and then I fell down with a splash. As I blacked out, I heard a shout. This one is mine now. You get out. Next thing I know, I was awake. Back in the village with great ache. That is a sad tale indeed, but it just proves you have bad luck. For this, I should banish you, send you away, and forbid you to return. But I am not unkind. Instead, I will give you a chance to bring me something precious and clear your name. Go far away, wherever you may, and bring me back strength beyond measure. But return without it, and my guards will just drive you away. To go far away, I will need some Copex for my travels. Copex? Very well, I am not unkind. Here, use these wisely. Go now, return only when you can give me strength beyond measure. My dear boy, I heard what happened. That wretched sir sending my boy away instead of finding a wife. What will you do, Ivan? Though it seems impossible, I must do what must be done. Listen, my dear boy, I know of a tale. A story long lost. An apple that makes you strong as an ox. I think you could take that fruit to the Tsar. Yaga knows about it and she's never far. How can an apple give strength? Yes, Ivan. A golden apple. Picked when it is ripe straight from the branch. Only one apple ripens every seven years. Maybe it is time now. Baba Yaga will know. Find her and she will tell you. The powerful witch deep in the forest. Her house sits on a chicken leg. I'll tell you an old poem about her. At night in the forest, you should be afraid. Yaga is there, caressing her braid. In front of her house, there's a skull on a spike. No stories about her are ever alike. Sometimes she gives you advice and some magic. Sometimes you're pushed in the oven. How tragic. She will give you good advice if you find her. I will go to Baba Yaga. Wish me well. I am glad you are listening, but I hope you do not want to go empty-handed. She will need a gift when you meet her. It is said the best gift for her is a wormy bone. 
and a cloth with a poor man's sweat. The sweat of a poor man. Yes, that one is easy. Talk to the hay farmer behind the church. He's the poorest peasant in the village, him and his brother. Ooh, where could I find a wormy bone? The graveyard, of course. But don't go digging there yourself. Talk to the undertaker. He must have some bones from old graves he cleaned up. I'll go to them, Bubba, and ask for their help. Take some Copex with you. It's not much, but it's what I can give. Now go, Ivan. Help them if they need. Then return to me before you go. I have more to tell you. I want to see you back and wed, not cold and dead. Before you leave, you should go to your anvil and make some weapons. You'll need them in your journey. Oh, and while you're out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Hey, I know one. Hey, let's hear it then. Liquid, but not water. <laughs> White, but no snow. <laughs> Cheeky fella. What do you mean? <laughs> it's milk. <laughs> Who's the cheeky one now, eh? <laughs> Life is hard, <laughs> but the cows are happy. Good day, Ivan. I was just thinking about you. My spade is worse with every grave I dig. The blade has gotten blunt as a wooden spoon, and you can't really dig graves with a spoon, can you? Can you help me out, blacksmith? Of course. I'll just hammer it a bit. Oh, great. Let's see the blacksmith at work. The spade is much better now. It will still dig some graves. Now that you've helped me, is there anything I can help you with? I need a bone, rotten and filled with worms. Do you have something like that? Oh, I always end up with a few of these in my pockets. Here, take this one. It's too hard to crack, so you can have it. Thanks, Ivan. of blessings would you like? Be blessed, blacksmith. Ivan, have you seen my brother? He was to sell my hay. Two days, and no word. I do hope he's not drinking the money again, the fool. To who? Winter is almost here, and we need food. If I find him, will you give me that red cloth on your head? This? It keeps sweat out of my eyes, but I will give it to you. I'll look for him, but where should I start? Oh, thank you, Ivan. The market 
is near some farms. He can't be far. <laughs> This is where Vasilisa comes to sell her scarves. I wonder where she is now. Greetings! Interested in some talismans? Ha <laughs> ha! Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? A magic item if you have on you. For a small price, I can make it too. A magic item if you have on you. For a small price, Do you have any tips, bird? Yagaris, what's in? Things don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now? The heat is unbearable! Can you help a troubled old shepherd? Tell me of your sorrows, and I'll see what I can do. I fear for my sheep flock. They've gone grazing this morning, and I haven't the sharp eyes and mind to bring them back. My fortune of having magic sheep is cursing me in old age. Will you please help? I'll do it. Tell me what I need to know. Each night, the sheep think of a riddle, and it gets written on their wool. In the morning, they vanish away to graze around. And if I'm to bring them back, I have to whisper the answer in their ears. Enough talk. Let's get your sheep back before nightfall.
used it to defend himself. I might find a use for it. Praise be your soul! So glad our paths have crossed, dearest blacksmith! I thought I was doomed! My brother must be worried sick for me! How did you end up tied to a tree? Oh, I sold all my brother's hay at the market. But a band of thieves cornered me and robbed me blind on my way home. Be kind, don't leave me here. Set me free, I beg you! Right away. Oh, bless your soul, Ivan. Oh, although I, I would have one more thing to ask of you, if I may dare. Oh, well, me and my brother, um, we are in terrible need of those kopecks. Without them, we'll barely make it through the winter. Dearest blacksmith, if you could be able to get my kopecks back from the bandits, we would be forever in your debt. They must have a camp not far from here. Worry not. Leave it all to me. You should find uh, about a uh, hundred kopecks. Good luck. I can't leave until my work here is done. This chain could be useful. Let's see. Now I can grapple across. Hold it right there. What do you want? You stole the poor man's hard-earned money. Give it back. We stole what? We are the ones who were robbed. We're outlaws, all right, but we don't pick on the simple folk. Now leave us be, or we'll teach you a lesson. I will not be fooled by a bunch of thieves. Lads. Get him!
flows but won't quench thirst. Sand? What breaks but never falls? Dawn? What can be loud but never heard? Silence? A great service, lad. Good fortune be unto you. You did me a great service. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Have any tips, bird? Magic is raw.
Things don't look good for him. Where is Ivan going now? of my brother? Your brother was robbed by bandits, but he's safe now. Oh, dear me! Uh, what about the Copex? Here they are. Thank you, Ivan. I will not forget this. And here is my sweat rag. Be careful, it is wet. A wormy bone and a cloth with a poor man's sweat? I got both of them. I am ready to go to Baba Yaga now. Wish me well, Grandma. Then go to the forest to find Baba Yaga. She will help you. Do what she asks, as she knows what's right. Travel well, my boy. Oh, and while you are out there, see if you can find yourself a wife. Tips, bird. Do not die. Uh. Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Ivan enters the forest. Steady on his feet. As good a place as any for him and I to meet.
here is your object. Have it back. Just leave me alone. Would you like my chicken here? I have never seen such a thing in my life. Are the eggs giant as well? Oh yes, can you imagine? You could feed a whole village with a single egg. Imagine the omelette! <laughs> oh, she loves enchanted corn cobs. <laughs> Bring one to her, and she'll do anything you wish. Here, chick, 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 chick. I will return. Yes, she may even give you an egg. You never know. Find the corn and come back. She won't budge for anything else.
time-worn altar barely holding together, dedicated to Perun, god of lightning. Some offerings are lying on a stone plate in front of it. Something fell on the... The altar is now silent. Hey, Psst. Wake up. Oh, oh, hello. Is it evening yet? I was supposed to work all day, and I, I thought I'd rest a bit. Can I please have that corn there? Oh, I was saving it for later. Well, I don't have much else to eat. That'll do. She left you a gift. <laughs> Travel well, lad. Me, please, I do not want to die. This is the end for you. No! Closer Traveler, Yaga is my name. I am a great witch, or so people claim. Before I decide if you're sour or sweet, did you think to bring a gift or a treat? I come to you, Yaga, and I need advice. I bring you some gifts. I hope they suffice. A bone filled with worms, taken from a grave, and sweat from a man, poorer than a slave. That is quite disgusting, but I will agree. I will let you talk and listen to thee. So tell me, dear blacksmith, what brings you here? Sadness or joy? Courage or fear? I need your help. I am on a quest. The Tsar himself sent me on a test. Tell me, dear Ivan, why should I help you? I am very busy. I have things to do. The damned Tsar will kill me if I don't return, with strength beyond measure, in front of his throne. Help me, Baba Yaga, I demand of you. My life and my neck both depend on you. A demand? 
hand. Oh, dear, what am I to do? Very well, my dear. I choose to help you. If the rightful Tsar wants strength beyond measure, then the golden apple is the perfect treasure. Where must I go now? Is it far away? Don't you worry, dear. You'll get there in a day. In the sunny farmlands between grain and wheat, the apple is there, guarded by great heat. Thank you, Baba Yaga, for easing my quest. Now, now, dear Ivan, I have a request. When you get the apple down from the tree, please do as I ask and return to me. But how will I find you? Are you staying here? Don't worry, my darling. I will be quite near. Go now, my dear blacksmith. Enough with this talk. Find the apple. Go to the farmlands. Walk. The apple is ripened. So you must make haste, or it'll get spoiled, and might go to waste. Now go, dear blacksmith, use your firm arm. Or do you want magic? Maybe a charm? Bless you, child. Be charmed, Ivan. Be charmed, Ivan. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Have any tips, bird? Will he go where I sent him? Towards the farms he traveled well. About this place. What can you tell? The farms are filled with sun and heat. The peasants work amidst the wheat. But now the place is crawling with a horde of creatures with no wit. They take whatever they can seize, food or humans gone in a breeze. Their chief among them resolute to top his big gift with a fruit. Driven to heat by wild desire, he won't be stopped by flame or fire. Ivan is there to take the apple. He'll use brute force, or will he haggle?
The heat is unbearable. A well-built altar dedicated to Svarog, god of blacksmiths. He should have more offerings. I hear sounds of hammers and anvils in the distance. The altar is now silent. The altar is now silent. Ha! Gotcha! Hello? Thought you could get rich off my milk money again, huh? There must be some sort of misunderstanding here. We've only just met. That's no argument. But if you didn't, then who did? It's the third time in a row this happens. Find the culprit and I will share my corpex with you. That cow looks visibly uncomfortable. A fresh, smelly cow pat is not far from the chest. Oddly enough, it seems to hide something shiny. Copex. Huh? Where is that devil? The cow did it. And the proof? Look, I found this copex inside the manure. I didn't lose just a few copex. If you haven't noticed already, I lost an entire chest. Come back when you found the wrongdoer. A fresh, smelly cow pat, oddly enough. Copex. The chest is lying open with a few copex still inside. The inside looks sticky. to tell us of his death. Who are we talking about? Wait, uh, are you not a bandit? Did you come here with news of our son or not? I am not a bandit, and it sounds like your son is in trouble. Let me help you. Our youngest son ran away after a quarrel. They wished to join a gang of bandits that wanders around these parts. Instead, they hid him, tied him up, and asked for 200 Copex to let us find him. We're poor, and barely managed to gather half of that. I will make sure they get what they deserve, and your son will be returned. Do what you must, but please bring us news of our son. If you keep heading east, you're bound to find the bandit camp. What are you doing in these parts, blacksmith? Don't you know there are bandits nearby? I will not bargain with bandits. Tell me of the boy, and I will spare you from my judgment. You seem like a solid match. How about this? The boy is tied to the big oak tree where the river bends. We'll brawl for him. I am no coward. If that is what it takes to free the boy, then so be it.
Have you found him? The bandits have been taken care of. He's tied to the oak tree at the bend of the river. Bless you, blacksmith. How can we make it up to you? I need no gold, but bless my travels, and that should be enough. Bless you, blacksmith. May your path be paved with good fortune. seems quite animated. Show yourself, creature! The pond is now quiet.
Go away, fat human. No bother, gift human. I have questions. What does fat human want? Why did you lock up this man? Gift. Sad human is gift. Cherry on top of corpse pile. Father be proud. Who is your father? And what does he want? Father in love. Father prepare gift for Polunitsa. And her will love father back. What's a Polunitsa? Summer heat. Hair longer than me. Kiss of flame. Father in love with her. And she become mother soon. Our gift will help. Do you know anything about a golden apple? That's you and no speak of that. That is secret for father only. Shut up! You know something about the apple. Tell- We told fat human to no speak of that. Secret. Now fat human be gift himself! <laughs> Let's get you out of that cage. The wooden bars are not here anymore. I see freedom. Although freedom is still a cage with them gone. I helped you. Now, I need your help. No one can help me anymore. Only my darlings. And they're gone. What do you want? I'm looking for a golden apple. Do you know anything about that? Golden apple? Mm, that doesn't sound familiar. But the creatures did talk about an apple that eats the sun. Anything else? I need to seek what I cannot find. Did you hear anything from your captors? Yeah. They whispered about their father and an apple. He's waiting for the apple to eat more sun. <sighs> they seem to talk nonsense. Anything else? I need to seek what I cannot find. What happened to you? How did you get here? I am looking for them. Always searching, but never to find them. They're still here but forever gone. Please, don't ask me about them anymore. Anything else? I need to seek what I cannot find. It's your fault you got caught. Just stay home now. My home is where my heart is. And my heart is gone. <sighs> you lost, little fat man. I'm on a quest for the Tsar. I need to find the golden apple. And I think you know where it is. No, no, no! No one go near the apple that eats sun, Blacksmith! Go back to foolish Tsar! Maybe there's something I could offer you in exchange for the apple. I need apple! Apple, a gift for love! What does the apple do for love? Holodnitsa deserves big gift. Juicy meat, I prepared. Apple make gift complete. I need the apple, or the Tsar will kill me. Maybe different way. Oh, no human know how apple look. I give you fake one. Take fake apple and leave, or you no live. I'm not here to bargain. If you're not giving me the apple, I'll take it myself. 
<laughs> Fool, fat man. Now I kill you dead. Well done, Ivan. You have an apple. Is this indeed what you are after? You have the real apple. That is really great. Are you ready now to place it on a plate? I have a request, Ivan, my dear one. Give to me the apple you just won. Don't worry now. I won't let you die. You'll only need to tell a little lie. Here. As a gift from me to you, an apple gilded through and through. You're free to keep it, no matter what you choose to do with the one you've got. But I will ask you, Ivan, now and here. Give me the real one, blacksmith, my dear. I must take the apple back to the Tsar. Lying never really gets you that far. Do as you wish. Both you can keep. But make a bad choice, and bad fate you'll reap. Farewell now, Ivan. I have places to be. There are lots of people that bump into me. You'll see me later if you want, or you must. The Tsar is not someone to easily trust. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Have any tips, bird? Red! Red is good!
He has the apple. Time to go back. you to be gone the task is done my czar how where did you find strength beyond measure does such a thing really exist and can it be given to another the golden apple whoever holds it in his hands has strength beyond measure try it and you will see Prove it. Give me that apple. Now! Take this apple, Tsar. You will feel its strength. See? It is just an apple. It might be golden, but it does nothing else. Wait. Feel something. I am strong. The power is real. The cross. Hmm. Ahem. Eva, you have done well. But I have yet one more task for you. You must go far away, as far as the eye can see. Find bottled youth and bring it to me. I'll need a reward for the apple, Tsar. Such a great thing is not easy to find. A reward? I deserve a thousand kopecks. No, nothing of the sort. Five are more than enough. Go, and do not return until you bring back bottled youth, or I will cut off your head. Ivan, my dear boy, that wretched Tsar. You did what he asked, and he is sending my boy away again. Instead of finding a wife, you will go to Baba Yaga again, no? I will go, but what gifts should I give her? Hmm, she doesn't like receiving the same gift twice. I remember someone telling me, yes, bring her a white cow's tail and a sack of spoiled grain. Everyone throws out spoiled grain. Where can I find a sack of it? Talk to the wheat cutter. I heard her cursing the Vedmak for spoiling her crops. Just what you need. You think the herdsman will just give me his cow's tail? It doesn't hurt to ask Ivan. Find him in the cow pen. He's there all day long. Thank you, Baba, for your advice. Get those gifts and go back to Baba Yaga. She will help you. Take this bread as well. Oh, you're all skin and bones after all these travels. Oh, and the Undertaker is looking for you. Go talk to him. Take care not to get lost in the swamp. And come home when you're hungry. And remember, Ivan, look out for a wife. I would love to see my sweet boy married. Ivan, dearest, woe unto me! My wheat, all cut from one side to the other. A terrible omen, blacksmith. I ran away as soon as I saw it. I'm too afraid to stay there now. Ugh. 
Who could have done this? Bad things keep happening since that filthy Vadmak arrived. I bet he is behind this. I filled some sacks with it, but it's all useless now. Why? You want some? I do. Just one sack. That's all I need. Let's make a deal. You find you was guilty, and I'll give you three sacks of spoiled grain. Where's the Vedmac now? Heaven knows, Ivan. He may still be in the fields. I'm too scared to confront him. They say he's a powerful sorcerer. Oh, be careful. I'm ruined. This village is cursed. I am cursed. What happened here? A foul beast has slaughtered my cows. All but one, my smallest and dearest, my little white princess. Ivan, you are a strong man. I beg you, find her before it's too late. Without her, I'm doomed. I've nothing left in this world. Where is your white cow? She ran away. My white ray of sunlight, the purest white cow you've ever seen. She was chased away by the beast. Whatever that thing was, it went after her in the forest. Ivan, you are a strong man. I beg you, find her before it's too late. Without her, I'm doomed. I've... Pull yourself together, old man. I'll go there right away. Bring my white lady back to me. She's my light. Please hurry. Sorry for your loss. Oh, thank you. What happened to him? The woodsman found him near some trees, laying in a pool of blood. Wretched thieves! Might I help in some way? <laughs> kind of you to ask. Maybe you can help. My old necklace. I gave it to him for protection, but it was not on him when they brought his body back. Could you be so kind as to look for it? Where did he die? In the forest. He went there on various occasions looking for the blooming fern. Want to search for the blooming fern together? You can only see it if you look for it naked. Or so I've heard. Ivan! Hey, Leave me alone! They stole my coffin lid. I can't live well nor die well in this village. Who were they? Do you think I would still be out here if I knew? Why does it say, rest in peace on my grave, if I'm not even allowed to do that? Why can't the dead simply stay dead? you say that? I have two husbands. See for yourself. What do you mean? Two of the same. Can you not see? Could it be our Domovoy is playing tricks? I would not want to get on his bad side. Oh, woe unto me. Greetings, blacksmith. What brings you to our beloved household? Greetings, but who are you really? 
Why, blacksmith, do you not recognize your own neighbor? I know who you are, Domovoy. This game of mischief you're playing. Hey? Eh? Stop this nonsense. Blacksmith, are you all right? Stop this trickery, you old devil. Devil? I'll show you, devil. I curse you, blacksmith. May you lose money each day. Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? What blessings do you need, blacksmith? Be charmed, blacksmith. A magic item if you have on you. For a small price, I can make it too. How many do you want, my dear Ivan? I can make many, or I can make one. Here you go, take them. any tips, bird? Magic is raw! Ivan seems troubled. Where's he going now? Nothing happens. Perhaps she doesn't like me. Traveller, a, a moment, if you may. Our dearest bear cub has escaped the circus. By any chance, have you seen such a thing? All oh, efforts rewarded, of course. Is that fear I smell? Not man enough to catch it yourself? <laughs> no danger at all. The cub is tame and even knows a few tricks. I make it worth your while, I promise. Go. Back. Home. Say these words and it will return to the circus on its own. Come back for your reward if you do find him. <laughs>
Go back home. No circus bear. <laughs> Did you actually believe me? <laughs> Regardless, I appreciate you clearing the path for me. Time to pay for your deception. This must be the beast. Those are some big footsteps. Oh, the white cow is dead. And there's its tail. I'll just take the tail. No one is around to see me, except for this little bear. Well now, this is disappointing. Oh, what's that noise? and of its strength. Evan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? any tips, bird? Red! Red is... What? Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? The 
fight is unbearable. A time-worn altar barely holding together, dedicated to Perun, god of lightning. Some offerings are lying on a stone plate in front of it. Something fell on the... The altar is now silent. Took care of them. You can come out now. Finally, someone got rid of those beasts. I hid in here, hoping they'd go away. <gasps> Thank you, traveller. You're welcome. Try and stay safe. May your journey be blessed. Safe travel.
Things, blacksmith. I uh, uh, caught red-handed. Oh wait, this is not what it seems. The wheat cutter thought it was you, and here you are. By Perun, not again. That woman is mad. I had nothing to do with it. I'm being accused every time someone gets the chance. I've heard that before. I grow tired of this village. Nobody ever listens. I'm leaving for good. Then you can deal with this problem on your own. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest?
Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Ivan, you're back. What are my fields? You were right all along. That Vedmak was indeed responsible for this. I caught him, red-handed, cutting another parcel. Oh, I knew it! Did you punish him for his foul deeds? He will trouble you no more. Thank you, blacksmith. Here, for your troubles. Now to get back to work. That weed is long overdue. Ivan? I found the beast that murdered your cattle, and I slew it. This is his paw, as proof. Oh, thank you, blacksmith. I only hope my dearest cow will soon return. I'll have to starve if she won't. <laughs> oh, woe unto me. I found a carcass right next to the bear's hideout. This bell was nearby. My life! <laughs> as soon as you have those gifts, you should go to Baba Yaga. She will help. Take care not to get lost in the swamp, and come home when you're hungry. And remember, Ivan, look out for a... The peasant seems to be sound asleep. I knew it! <laughs> My dearest husband is ever so lazy. I'll take it from here, blacksmith. Here. Something for your time, dearie. Farewell. <laughs> Ivan seems troubled. Where's he going now? Ivan seems troubled. Where's he going now? Fancy some cheese, traveller? I could never refuse some good goat cheese. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I, I seem to just run out. Praise be upon you, traveller. Listen to this old priest, and I will reward you handsomely. You're a talking goat. What's this priest nonsense you talk of? Don't let my hooves fool you. I'm as surely a priest as the sky is blue and grass is green. I was just punished a bit. Who punished you? Why, God himself. You see, I was blinded by the devil who fogged my eyes with greed. In a moment of weakness, I took to impersonating a goat devil to earn myself a fortune. 
You spin a sad tale, but don't expect tears from me. Unless maybe I can get something out of this. I'll be your most faithful companion. I'll carry things for you. I'll ram your enemies in combat. I'll use my priestly blessings to heal you. Anything. Just get me out of this pen somehow. I beg of you. Your companionship sounds great. Let's get you out of there. Fancy some cheese, traveler? I'd rather we talk about your goats. What of them? One of them can talk. Can you not hear it? I want you to leave it in my care. What do you mean? All of my goats can talk. I see. The black one. What do you want for it? Oh, you must be mad. The black one's useless. She barely gives any milk at all. Still, I'll not part with it for just any amount of kopecks. However, if you prefer a job instead, get rid of the Roman bandits nearby, and I'll give you the goat. You've got yourself a deal, old man. Here are the kopecks. <laughs> My instincts were right. You are as foolish as you look. Good luck catching me. Are the brutes dead? Come out, it's safe. Oh my, you've saved me again. Why do you keep coming here? Oh, my lands are here. I have to, or else I'll starve. It's such a pity that you need to do this. Stay safe. Alas. All I can give in return is my blessing.
my dear Ivan, you're back, I see. I wonder what you have for me. I have more gifts gathered with pains, a white cow's tail and some spoiled grains. Sounds like a treat. They'll feed my crows. Now, let us talk about your woes. Oh, wait. First, let me try to guess. You find yourself in one more mess. Another task I must go through. I need your help. I need a clue. My efforts were not paid in kind. Youth in a bottle I must find. I told you not to trust the Tsar. His heart is darker than black tar. That wicked man will always find someone to hurt and leave behind me. I'll be kind and will tell you where you must go, what you must do. Where do I start? Is it close by? It is not far, nor is it dry. You'll need to go into the box, filled with wet creatures and some frogs. The eldest one is soaked in moss. Take what he guards, and he'll be cross. I have to go now. I need to run. I'll meet you there when your task is done. Now go, dear blacksmith. Use your firm arm. Or do you want a magic? Maybe a charm? Bless you, child. Be charmed, Ivan. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Ivan has reached a smelly place. Inside this swamp, what will he face? Peasants don't dare go in the bogs. Many were lost between the frogs. Sad women, children, dogs and sheep never come out if they go deep. The Vodnik lives there with his clan. They hate and fear the touch of man. 
But men are never stopped by bounds. They search for treasure on their grounds. How will the blacksmith pick a side when faithful men and swamps collide? Will he choose humans and their quest? Or try to be a kinder guest? Everything is so wet here. This altar is dedicated to Veles, god of musicians and magic. 
is that music? The altar is quietly humming. The altar is quietly humming. What brings you around these swamps, blacksmith? I'm looking for the water of youth. Oh, not this again. You'll get lost, just like the others. That madman priest will blame your loss on the swamp as well. I will not have that. Again? Have others come before me? Oh, and how many? Old men and women, scared by what they see in mirrors and the crackling of their bones. They come to my swamps in search of youth, and no matter what I do or say, they won't go home. What happens to people coming here? What do you think? They get lost and then drown, or starve to death, or get eaten. Others lose their minds like that priest. What priest? That madman that keeps trying to clean my swamp with his rituals. So the water of youth is here? Oh, you don't understand. The water of youth is not for humans to possess. It's meant to remain here in the swamp. You'll find I'm not like the others. I'm not letting you stop me from getting it. If it's a fight you want, You'll get one, but you'll regret it! Done, Ivan. You have found the water. Is this the real thing you came after? The water is here just for you to take. But wouldn't you rather give the Tsar a fake? I know the Tsar wants it, but I will ask you, Ivan. Will you take something that belongs to no one? I will keep them both, the fake and the pure. 
Who knows what illness I will need to cure? Yourself before all? Some say that is wise. Take this fake water. Give the Tsar his prize. Muddy water? Ugh, let's see. I must not spill this thing on me. Farewell now, Ivan. I'll take to the skies. There's a beautiful maiden I need to advise. You will see me later, I'm sure of that. I'll find you, my dear, when we need to chat. Yvonne seems troubled. Where is he going now? have returned? I told you not to come back without bottled youth. Guards, take him to the stone. But my Tsar, I did as you asked. How? Show me bottled youth. A bottle of mud. Is, is this what you call bottled youth? It makes your mind feel fresh and gives you the willpower to face it all. The water of youth makes you feel young as a foal. But wait. You're right. I feel something. I feel young. And my mind is clear. The curse. Ivan, you have done well, but I need more from you. Now, my final task. If you do this one, it will be the last. Go over nine mountains, over nine seas. Find the most lovely wife and bring her to me. Where do I go to find such a bride? Go through the fields, or go through the swamp. I do not care as long as it's far away. What is beauty, my lord? How do I decide? You should want to look straight into the sun, but not at her. That's how beautiful she must be. I will find her, Tsar. I will start right away. It seems pointless to argue, whatever I may say. No, now, find me a wife more beautiful than the sun, and only then can you return. I promised I would come. I sense you are in need. Tell me of your quest, and I will closely heed. A wife I have to bring as lovely as the sun. Someone from far away. She must be sworn to none. There is no simpler task than choosing such a bride. I'll tell you where she is, but it is a long ride. Morevna is her name. Maria to her folk. Before you get to her, you'll pass through ice and smoke. The frozen peaks you'll cross, and after them the woods, where lots of men have died. Buried in bloody woods. Oh, my dear boy. Look at you. You look unfed. How are you to find yourself a wife when you look like this? Nobody wants a bony husband. Take this loaf of bread fresh out of my oven. Thank you, Babushka. Travel well, my dear.
Greetings. Pleasure doing the business. Blacksmith, do you need a blessing? What kind of blessings would you like? Be blessed, blacksmith. What kind of blessings would you like? Be you are kind. Take this. It will guide you in your journey. Is there anything else I can help you? Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some ma- What blessings do you need, blacksmith? Be ch- any tips, bird? Magic is raw! Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Seems like Ivan listens to you. What is next? What needs he to do? He'll need to cross the frozen peaks with teary eyes and reddened cheeks. Before he'll reach the other side, his wits and toughness will be tried. Morosco with his heart of ice lets no one through without a price. But if the blacksmith proves he's tough, he might receive some magic stuff. But others who call this place home have hands of ice and hearts of stone. And if they see Ivan get close, they might decide to eat his nose. I can barely feel my face. A wonderful day for a little mind, he's a blacksmith. Until I am measured, 
I am not known. Yet how you miss me when I have flown. What am I? It is time. Of course. Blessings of wisdom upon you. Now, off you go. Kind stranger, spare you some Kopex. You'll just drink them. I'm not giving you a single Kopex. Me? Tr drunk? How dare you? I'll forgive you if you spark a few Kopex. Can you promise me you'll go home if I give you money? I have to go home with money. My wife is expecting me. I was supposed to find a job in town. But the times are bad. Nobody needs a stable hand. I won't stand idle and watch you suffer. Blessings to you. I'll be heading home after a, a quick stop. Greetings, stranger. Have you got a minute to spare? By chance, have you seen my husband on your way here? Seen him? I can almost smell him from here. He passed out drunk near a big rock. Drunk again? I am going to teach him a lesson. A well-built altar dedicated to Svarog, god of blacksmiths. He should have more offerings. Hear sounds of hammers and anvils in the distance. The altar is now silent. You cannot pass. 
Go back to where you came from, human. Why aren't you letting me pass? You are not pure of heart. I strive to do what is right. What can I do for you? What reasons have you for traveling to the peaks? I have no choice. I need to get to the Deadwoods. The Tsar will cut off my head if I return empty-handed. Mm, your heart seems honest. I'll let you through if you prove yourself worthy. What can I do? There's a band of stewhacks nearby, making lots of noise and killing the animals I love. Get rid of them, and I'll allow you passage. I accept. The stew hacks will soon be gone. seems quite animated. Greetings, traveler. You have caught me, the pikefish. Now release me, and I shall grant you one wish. I wish to be strong. I coughed up this ore. You know what to do. You've done it before. Farewell. The pond is now quiet. smell that, brothers? That's the smell of dinner. Juicy human in our bellies tonight. I hear you have trouble with Morozko. I'll get rid of him for you if you let me through. Why would we want Morozko gone? He sends humans this way with their sweet bones and juicy flesh. Let's get this over with. Get him, brothers!
Those creatures were a thorn in my side for a very long time. They finally got what was coming to them. Thank you. Can I pass now? You can. Follow this path onwards and travel well. Hello, dear Ivan. What a place to meet. You seem to be cold. Come and take a seat. Take me to Maria. It's easy for you. I am sorry, dear. That I cannot do. No man can survive flying in this house. Just women, crows, my cat and her mouse. I'm in need of magic to save me from harm. Do you want some items or maybe a charm? A magic item, if you have on you, for a small price, I can make it too. How many do you want, my dear Ivan? I can make many, or I can make one. Here you go. Take them! Be charmed, Ivan. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Was he ready to brave the dead one? Tell us, Yaga, what are your plans? Why did you send him to these lands? The Deadwoods are a place of dread, where lots of blood and tears were shed. And souls once lost in an old battle disturbed the peace 
with chains that rattle. The queen of a kingdom once grand is here to make her final stand. And though she's beautiful and kind, her thoughts of vengeance keep her blind. But our blacksmith has great skill in making others change their will. And though the woods are dark and damp, he's getting closer to her camp. This is creepy. An altar, all scratched and cracked, dedicated to Chernobog, the Black God. What's that mocking laugh in the distance? The altar is silent now. Saying? I can't understand you. Goodbye. I'm not sure you want to go any further, Blacksmith. I'm not one of your soldiers. Keep your orders to yourself. Fine, be on your way. Further, or you'll feel my wrath. You're an abomination of nature. I'll make it so you don't bother anyone again. Then die!
look, what do we have here? Looks like it's finally time to finish that dinner we started long ago. Mm -hmm. Those fingers were delicious, with tasty, mm, crunchy bones. <laughs> You took my hand, evil creature. I did not take it. You left it behind. What was I to do? Let it rot there? I search everywhere for the rest of you. You're always on my mind. What will Ivan do now? What will Ivan do now? Learned so much since last time we have met. Oh, I'll come for you again, and my knives will be wet. You can take my arm, but you can never take my gold.
is exactly where I need him to be. Maria wants to speak with you. Go talk to her a bit. But afterwards, come back to me. Don't be too fast to quit. Well met, traveller. You must be tired from your long road. Come, join us at our fire and let us share stories. What is this place? The Deadwoods. Much blood has been spilled in this forest. It is now haunted by spirits. Lord among them is Koshe. Who is this Koshe? Koshe the Deathless, an ancient immortal being. For centuries he has raided my kingdom. And last year, he came and decimated my father's people. He came leading an army of spirits risen from the dead. The Tsar sent me here. He wants you as his wife. The Tsar wants me as his wife? But we've never met. He sent me to find the most beautiful woman in the world. Then you must search elsewhere. There are many women more beautiful than me. A warrior queen will be just what he wants. A warrior queen's place is on the battlefield, not in a castle. She can only be called such a name if she dies without shame. A wise Tsarina will help our lands. My mother was wise, my father was brave, and both of them are in their grave. He sent me to find the most. Then you must search elsewhere. This reunion will be good for your people. I see no reason why this marriage would benefit my people. Your people will be safer in our Tsardom. That may be right, but none of them will cower behind walls before they have a chance to take revenge for our dead. What can I do to change your mind? Oh, not everything inside this world is settled with a quest. But let it be as you wish. I'll have no rest from you otherwise. I'll not indulge any request of offering my hand until I know that there's more peace than conflict in the land. When the old Vodnik finds his rest in the swamp he calls home. When cold Morozko's heart is warm upon his winter throne. When Polodnitsa finds such love to change her heated frown, then, only then, come back to me, and I might change my crown. Do you have any tips, bird? Magic is raw! Three hard challenges must be done before Maria will accept any offers. Hmm. 
Everything is so wet here. An altar dedicated to Mokosh. Look how pe Nothing happens. Perhaps she doesn't like me. soon to be wed and look at me now alone even my flowers have withered away I am deeply sorry for your tragedy young lady might there be anything within my grasp to cheer you up at least one bit perhaps you can bring me the most beautiful flower you find a dash of color on this landscape of sorrow would bring such joy to my heart Bright white for an honest love is what I have for you. How innocent. Yes. How naive. What? Time to trade my tears for your blood! Deceit has left me blind! Spare me, and I will aid you! This I promise you! You fooled me! You have to die, unclean creature! Thank <laughs> you. 
If the situation wasn't dire, I would not allow you to set foot in these swamps after what you've done. But I am desperate. If you will choose to aid me, I have no choice but to accept. It's why I'm here. What's bothering you, Vodnik? It's this darn priest. He's turned my fellow Vodyanoi against me. He wants to control the Water of Youth Fountain, of all things. Nothing good can come of this. When will I have peace? Maria said peace. I'll give you some final peace. A fellow believer. Such a blessing to encounter one from your own flock. What are you doing all the way out here in these swamps, priest? I came here to renew my faith, and I have. You see, I was lost and roamed around the swamps with no end in sight, going in circles, starving. I ran out of food and water after just two days, so I had to resort to drinking out of the swamp. That's when God decided to show me the true path. Are you sure it wasn't the swamp water you drank? You were right. This place, this swamp, is holy ground. The water of youth is not a myth. It's real. And it's everywhere in the swamp. In the plants, animals, and even these magnificent creatures. I like to call them my children now. The Vodnik was just using these wonderful creatures for fishing, so I've started my own quest to save them. I will get the Water of Youth from the Vodnik Elder and share it with everybody. This is my promise to my children. They have seen the truth behind the Vodnik's lies, all of them. You're insane. I'm done listening to your nonsense. My followers will take care of you. Sit upon you, blacksmith. Leave now and never come back. What did you say? Leave now and never come back. Ah!
Evan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Have any tips, bird? The Vodnik is now at peace. An altar dedicated to Mokosh. Look how peaceful and proud she stands. Nothing happens. Perhaps she doesn't like me. bothering you what's bothering me why take a closer look at my bark my boy I did not carve this myself the loner who lives nearby seems to have done quite some ugly deeds in his past and now he seeks redemption by spoiling my time-worn coat <laughs> as if that ever made any sense I have some deeds of my own to write. Are you deaf, boy? Uh... Oh, please, help me. Very well. I will look for him, as long as he's not too far. Put sense into him, please. I don't care how. Just make him stop.
You are back, blacksmith. Are you not tired of these mountains? Tell me, what's on your mind? I need to warm up your heart. Fire is the simplest way to do that. You wish to fight me? So be it. Morosco's heart is now warm. This altar is dedicated to Veles, god of musicians and magic. What's this? Something fell on the ground. The altar is quietly hum. Before me, 
Tell me, what is yellow in the night and makes the sky... Oh, what's the point anymore? Just be on your way. I won't bother you. What's bothering you? I've been driving men insane for a long time. But none have ever been crazy for me. Not since my true love died. I'll help you find your dead love again, on the other side! <laughs> ah! You will die first! Again, won't you put an end to my horrid days? Then I can find warmth again. What? what has happened to you? Why are you still roaming the farms? Have you no family that's waiting? Yes, I have. And yes, they do. But not in this world anymore. Are they dead? Dead? No, 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 friend. They're not dead. <laughs> that's crazy. They're just not alive. Uh, many times I find myself wishing I was not alive as well. I wish there was something I could do. Don't worry. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. I found these Copex. You should have them. I won't need them where I'm going. Where are you going? Going? Never mind. Interested in some talismans? <laughs> Pleasure doing the business, sir. Come back soon. Here's what I have for you. Are not happy you here. He sent bring you. Get in cage or die. Evan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest?
Bolotnitsa has found love. Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? Bless you, child. Be charmed, Ivan. You are back. You need some rest, Ivan? Surely you didn't come with the Tsar's request again. I have done all that you asked. Tell me, blacksmith, what did you do for each of the things I asked of you? Polotnitsa's dead. She's now reunited with her ancient love that was long departed. Vodnik has his peace, resting through the day. I drove away the priest. He is far away. As sunlight melts ice in the summer heat, Morosko's heart melted right beneath my feet. Though your methods may not be to my taste, you did what I asked. I am impressed you managed to return in one piece. I see you are resilient and would do anything to reach your goals. However, I will not yet accept. My people have been in great pain and need some hope. While our battle in these woods endures, I need something to raise their spirits. If your Tsar cares about our people, he will present them with a gift. A gift for them, not for myself. You know your people best. What would make them happy? I can only think of one gift that will suffice. Something that will give them hope each day. I will tell you what to bring, though I will not make it easy for you. Even though you're a blacksmith and this task suits you, I will need three cauldrons made at the Golden Anvil. One made of iron that will draw out all strength from whatever is boiled in it. One made of copper that will draw out all freshness from whatever is stewed inside. One made of gold that will preserve all good luck and fate in things set inside. The Golden Anvil is a place of legend in our people's stories. It is said to lie in the frozen peaks, and great magic can be forged there. The cauldrons will allow us to cook food that brings much hope to all. One made of iron that will draw out all strength from what- One made of copper that will draw out all- One made of gold. I will return soon with these gifts. Go, Ivan. Return with the cauldrons, and we will talk more. Maria wants some gifts for her people. Will Ivan give up? Feel my face.
savages. It brings me shame to be their brother. The Elder demands fresh meat, so they kill every living creature they find. When will my kin return to their old ways? Who are you? I am an outcast among my people. They have lost their way, so I wander alone. I do not pillage, nor kill the innocent. I collect and trade precious rocks for food from herdsmen. I wish something would change for my people. Do you know where I can find the Golden Anvil? Yes, our Elder is guarding its entrance. He knows people come looking for it, and is ready to feast on any foolish traveler. He just uses my kin as weapons. I wish something would change for my people. Who is this Elder? He is the oldest of our kind, so all my brothers listen to him. Locked in ice, he only sees what's next to him and no longer thinks about the changing world. He is driven by greed and hunger, and my kin follow him blindly. I wish something would change for my people. How can I help you? I'm listening. The Elder. If he is gone, my people will be free of him. And maybe we can go back to the old ways. Animals are enough. No need to hunt humans. Would you try to kill him? It would set my people on a better path. I killed some of those savages. How about a reward? Reward? No, I do not think so. They were my kin, after all, as misguided as they were. But if you are set on killing, maybe you can help. Dispose of that tyrant, and I will share my ore with you for Copex. You have my word, blacksmith. May the winds guide you. With your permission, I would like to use it. <laughs> to forge what, might I ask? I was sent to forge some cauldrons. Ha! Cauldrons? An uncommon task for an enchanted anvil. What use have you of cauldrons? For Maria Marevna. To keep her army fed while they fight my clan? Never.
the golden anvil. I must make haste and craft the cauldrons. Please don't break. Sparog Almighty, guide my hand. A tough task, finally complete. Ivan made lots of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Have any tips? Trolls! Remember your trolls! Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Tell me, dear blacksmith. How is your arm? Do you want some magic? You are back, I see. You do not seem to give up easily. Very well. Let me see those cauldrons. Thank you. Thank you, blacksmith. Thank you, Ivan. I'm impressed. You did what many thought impossible. It warms my heart to see such determination. Know that these cauldrons will help us. I still cannot marry your Tsar. Marry me instead. Oh, Ivan, you are funny. <laughs> but no, that cannot happen. When you first arrived, I just wanted to drive you away. When you returned, I just thought you got lucky once. So I sent you away again on a more difficult task, thinking that you'd give up. But here you are again. Nothing seems to stop you. Yet still, I cannot leave this forest. I have been hunting and fighting Koshe for so long, and I cannot stop now. He has killed my family and many of my people. I'm good at killing things. He's just another thing to smash. Blacksmith, if you want to take on another impossible task, I won't stop you. But I will not ask it of you myself. If you do decide to go and find Cochet, I would very much love to have my father's crown back. I hate knowing it is worn by such a vile creature. <laughs> Maria wants revenge for her family. Can Ivan face Koshe?
builds altar dedicated to Svarov. I hear sounds of hammers and anvils in the distance. The altar is now silent. to face the dreaded Koshe. It's been too long, but I'll get the revenge I've been waiting for. Oh, how I shall cherish his defeat. What's this about? You know Koshe? Yes, I have known Koshe for centuries. Ever since he was merely a mortal. He was a prince back then. Tall, Beautiful, strong. He's lost his beauty since then, and now he calls himself Koshe the Deathless. I heard he cannot be killed. Indeed, he cannot. He was close to dying, but his soul is now hidden inside an egg. The egg is inside a duck. The duck is inside a hare. The hare nests inside a hollow log. The log floats in a pond. The pond is in the middle of a forest. The forest is on an island in the middle of the sea. But no one knows how to get there. Good. Then we can focus on him. And with your help, he'll lose his freedom. You speak of revenge. What happened? Oh, what he did to me, I can never forgive. But it's a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? I always make time for stories. A long time ago, when Koshe was alive, he was a prince. And I was his lover, if you can believe that. You, the lover of a prince. Don't you mind how I look now? Centuries ago, I was the most beautiful woman in that kingdom. For a while, it was all wine and roses. He even left me bearing a child, and I was to be his queen. Until I caught him with another woman. What did you do after that? I... was the one to put an end to his life. As payback for making me lose my baby. But Baba Yaga, she was quite... fond of him. And made a great spell on him, turning him immortal. She regrets it to this day. But she is the one responsible. I couldn't stand what happened. So I killed myself to become this abomination and avenge my child. I've been waiting centuries to finally get my revenge on him. And here you are. The champion to see my plan through. Oh, you've had so much hate festering inside you this whole time. No wonder you want to get revenge. 
Of course, my champion. Let us plan Koshe's demise. What are you talking about? I'm not your champion. Oh, you don't understand. Last time we met was just a test. I needed to see what you were made of. I was just making sure you had what it takes to avenge me. It was all a test of strength. And you nearly destroyed me in the process. You're the perfect man to take on Koshe. But you'll need my help doing it. How do I find him? I will help you, but I also need to take Maria Marevna's crown back. That might be harder than you bargained for, Blacksmith. He won't part with the crown willingly. You need to imprison him. Or else he'll get up again, and again, and again. But there's a way around this, and I can teach you. If you know how to defeat Koshe, tell me now, or else I'll get it out of you another way. All in due time, Blacksmith. I will tell you all I know. But you need to have some patience. But know that you cannot kill him. He's called Koshe the Deathless, after all. First, you need to destroy his body. It will be harder than you think. After you destroy his body, you need to imprison his soul, or what's still left of it. Find his bone chest, and lock it while he's inside. That will destroy him. He'll still be alive, but he'll be forever trapped inside the chest. Unless someone is stupid enough to open it. How can I find the chest? Where should I start looking? It is close by. Inside this forest. You'll know it when you find it. I'll be keeping an eye on you, Blacksmith. Just another clueless fool that has stumbled where he shouldn't have. It matters not. Your death will taste just as sweet to me. These might be the last words anyone will ever hear from you. Make them count. You even know who you're standing in front of. How dare you insult Koshe the Deathless? I'll feast on your blood and make a cup out of your skull.
How are you here? I'm too weak to fight you again. Have some mercy on me. You never had any mercy for your victims. You deserve to be locked away forever. At least they are dead. Think of what you're about to do to me. Can you even imagine such a torture? Have mercy. You don't deserve freedom for what you did. Hand over the crown, and then stay locked away forever. That should be strong enough. Great need. Ivan seems troubled. Where is he going now? Tell me, dear blacksmith, how is your arm? Do you want some magic? Maybe a charm? Bless you, child. Be charmed, Ivan. Ivan, you have come back. I don't dare hope you have faced my enemy. He was tough, but I prevailed. The rush of fighting him was exhilarating. Is that so? Did you find my father's crown? I did, and I bring it back to its rightful owner. And what of Koshe? Did he manage to escape? He is now forever locked in this chest. He is immortal, so no weapon can kill him. But he will not bother you anymore. Oh, Ivan, I will be forever grateful to you. Thank you for bringing back my father's crown. And here is your reward. What about my Tsar's request? Yes. It is a good time to discuss the wedding now. I have thought more about your request. I have talked with my people and my advisors. You settled conflicts in your lands. You brought hope to my people, and you gave me my father's crown. You have done all that I asked, easy or hard. It seems I should accept. Go to your Tsar and let him know. However, I have some demands. The wedding will be held in a place of my choosing, and the suitor will have to pass a trial. Where will we go? The wedding will be held under the gaze of the Greybeard Stone. Take this message to the Tsar, and we will await you near the stone. I hope to see you there, Ivan. The deal is sealed. Ivan, my poor... What is it 
No. Why? You look. I'm fine. But you don't look fine to me. Don't or else you'll never f here. I have just finished refilling the. Thank you, Babut. Travel well. <laughs> What news do you bring? Did you find a gorgeous wife? Is she worthy of me, my strength, and my youth? She would have been a fool to refuse. She is Maria Morevna, a warrior queen from afar. Much, much more beautiful than the sun. Maria Morevna. I heard of her, indeed. She is good enough for me. She wants the wedding held beneath the Greybeard's gaze. Some people say there's magic there, but it's all old wives' tales. But if that's the place she wants, then there we will go. She says her groom must pass a trial before she's wed. A trial? <laughs> no matter. There's nothing I can't do. She wants the wedding held beneath the great... Some people... But if that's the place... I'll see you at the wedding. Very well, Ivan. Looks like the old hag was wrong about you after all. Servants! Prepare a great feast with more than seven courses. Prepare the better drinks. Prepare our greatest horses. Now go and gather all and let the word be spread that your Tsar and his Maria in three days will wed. The wedding will be held at the Greybeard Stone. as Ivan travels on his way. Someone is waiting for her prey. The one-eyed Lico tries again. To kill Ivan, she'll ruin your plan. I need to help the blacksmith now, before he's slaughtered like a cow. Come back to us when all is through. Go now, Ivan depends on you. I gaze upon the blacksmith. I have finally found you. Mm, your fingers were delicious. But now my hunger grew. No one can break away from my eternal reach. Come closer now, my dinner. About bad luck I'll teach. Long have you tried to kill me, but I escaped you twice. If you don't kill me now, your long neck I will slice. The time has come, Ivan. Now it's your time to die. And after that, I'll bake you one big, delicious pie.
Don't kill me, blacksmith. I'm needed on this earth. The way that people fight me is what defines their worth. I only ever did what I was born to do. I will give you strong magic. Spare me. I beg of you. I'll kill you now as promised. I've had enough of this. Prepare to taste my hammer. I swear I will not miss. Tell me, Yaga, what should I now do? Tell me of my fate. I'll listen to you. With the Licko gone, will I now be free? Or will some bad luck keep following me? Oh, dear Ivan, hear this from me. How you treat others, treated you'll be. How you see yourself, how you act each day, these are things that will pave your way. Some say you're aggressive, and they may be right, but that doesn't stop you from winning each fight. When living is hard, you have to push on and never accept to be someone's pawn. If you jump to action with a narrow view, do not make mistakes you cannot undo. When things get so bad, you think you are stuck. Don't bow to despair or blame your bad luck. It is not bad luck, nor is it no charm that will keep you safe or lead you to harm. I will tell you now, when the hour is late, the one thing that matters, that decides your fate, the choices you take, the actions you do, in the face of hardships set in front of you. I'm back, my dears. You're back indeed. The wedding's done. Some rest I need. Oh, you will rest when you are dead. Tell us what happened. Go ahead. You saw what happened in your pool. Please, Baba Yaga, keep your cool. We want to hear the tale in whole. And see if you have met your goal. Fine, even though I'm tired and spent, let's watch together how it went. And I will tell along the way all that I saw that fateful day. Under the eyes of old grey stone, above a fire made of bone, I placed the cauldrons Ivan made and thought about the plans I made. Maria and her host were there, with hope and worry in the air. Their queen was fairer than the sun, her beauty was a match for none. The Tsar and his people appeared, with his hunchback and knotty beard. And filled with arrogance and pride, he looked upon his would-be bride. The board was laid, my pawns were set. Above my brow, I had no sweat. As we sat there, ready to start, Ivan arrived to do his part. You are here, blacksmith. Late as always. What are you doing with that bloodied eye? I care not. I have more important things to do now. I am here, Maria Morevna. I have done as you wished. Now it is time for you to be my bride. It is said you are a great Tsar, and I know your blacksmith is a great man. But before we start, under the watchful eyes of the Greybeard Stone, you must pass the trial of fate. No trial can stand in my way. I am strong. 
I am young. I am the Tsar. I see all that, and I'm impressed. Now it's time to pass the test. The trial of fate before you stands. The Greybeard Stone has three demands. The strength of body of a bear. The youth of mind beyond compare. And just some luck, a little dash. It'll go quickly with a splash. To prove your worth, you'll need to dive in these three cauldrons and survive. The first is filled with boiling tears. If you're strong, you'll show no fears. The second boils with mother's milk, but for young minds, it feels like silk. The last is wine, as cold as ice, and with good luck, may feel quite nice. And when you're on the other side, you will take home this lovely bride. This trial of yours I will now take. I am the Tsar, and I am... mighty. And when I'm on the other side, I will take home this lovely... maiden. With his bad rhymes and giant pride, he tossed his shoes and staff aside. The Tsar was ready for the test. He raised the apple from his chest. Into the boiling tears he jumped, and we all waited with hearts clumped. And then his arms sprung out in pain, shriveled and died, just like his reign. Now that the Tsar has met his end, the time has come to play my hand. Towards the people in the crowd, I raised my voice and spoke out loud. He was unworthy, said the stone. Now he is turned to dust and bone. Let us speak no more of the dead. A new fate let us try to thread. We can now choose, all gathered here, someone to rule with love, not fear. My kingdom has been crushed by fear. Undead lords killed all that was dear. Thoughts of revenge have kept me blind until this blacksmith changed my mind. So here I came with all my men to settle down and grow again. My heart with want and hope is filled to join your people and rebuild. This is Maria from afar. Do you want her as your new Tsar? Ivan the blacksmith with one hand who came to find me in my land. Your journey has come to an end and now in front of you I stand. You have achieved all my demands and have brought peace to both our lands. You give me so much joy and pride to have your counsel by my side. Until such time when people learn that I can be both kind and stern, will you please give me your strong arm and help protect the throne from harm? The throne cannot be given to an outsider. I will take the trial and rule alone. Ivan stepped up to stake his claim. He looked towards us with no shame. It was his choice to take the test and show his worth to all the rest. With a strong arm and with no fears, he jumped into the boiling tears. And out he came with strength tenfold, helped by the apple made of gold. He faced the boiling mother's milk, its surface waving like fine silk. Inside he dived and was soon out, his face now younger, with less doubt. The frozen wine he entered last, knowing bad luck was in the past. Ivan emerged, fair as the sun, his power now lesser to none. Maria looked at him amazed, but he stepped back with his hand raised. He'd take all power for his gain, but let her people join his reign. Ivan the Tsar, 
to rich from poor. I will be watchful of his rule. Without Maria's calm and skill, the people will lose their goodwill. He'll stay a Tsar until he dies, unless he'll rule with fear and lies. If he turns cruel, I will make haste to make him fall into disgrace. And so the story is complete. Let's go, my dears. It's time to eat.